so you may have noticed I, uh, I removed my bar end mirrors and you know I'm not gonna lie they sucked they were awful they were uh, they were Rizoma ripoffs they, they looked like the Rizoma um, like classical I think that's the name of them I can't remember but they were basically $25 you know Chinese mirrors and they weren't constructed poorly but the problem with them is is they used uh, non stainless hardware so they rusted and they used a, mag a magnifying mirror so everything in your rearview mirror looked like it was twice as big but the glass of the mirror itself was very small so all you saw were the headlights of the of the vehicle directly behind you you couldn't see anything around that vehicle so that's why i went back to my stock mirrors you know that and i don't have to look away from the road to just glance at my mirrors now before i had to look all the way down here so i was actually turning my head to look in my mirror and that's wicked dangerous so i put my stock mirrors back on i'm really happy with them uh I don't care if I can see my elbow a little bit, that's way better than actually having to twist my head to look in a rear view mirror. And uh, and I left the, the peep sights on them, the, the fish eyes, because I can actually, if I'm in the middle lane like this, I can actually see everything in both lanes coming up on me if anything comes up on me. So uh, that helps a lot. Like as soon as the car gets out of the range of the main mirror, I can still see it in the, in the fish eye when it's next to me. So it's a lot less head turning uh, away from what's actually important. So uh, the uh, the bar ends that I got are Woodcraft. They're Woodcraft weighted bar ends. Um, they're actually way better than the stock ones that were on the Honda. Uh, and they don't have that big internal weight that the Honda ones have uh, that I, I removed. Uh, if you want to know how to do that, I put a video up of how to remove those internal bar ends. And uh, it makes life a lot easier because then you have, you know, the, the entire world is your oyster when it comes to your bar end choices. So I figure, why not? So the Woodcraft ones were great. I got them from Revzilla. It's nice because they're a two piece. They're an actual big metal weight. And then they have like the plastic slider on the outside. So if you ever do drop the bike, all you'll have to replace is that plastic slider, uh, which is nice. And I like them. They did take a lot of vibration out of the bars. It's almost, uh, it's almost back to how it was stock. Because a, a stock, I had very little vibration in the, in the bars, and then with those uh, mirrors in, they were vibrating like crazy. So that was another negative of those mirrors, is that they uh, they didn't absorb vibration too well. They actually just were affected by vibration. So they were constantly just, just you know, just impossible to see anything out of, you know, above 60 miles an hour. But uh, I think this is way safer. It looks a lot cleaner. Um, I love the way the bar ends look. They're just, you know, really, really nice construction. They're just modern looking. Uh, and they add a little bit of length to the handlebar, which I like. Uh, you know, so when, if, you're, if you're on a long trip and you're resting, you can actually like widen out your grip on the bars and just kind of rest them on the bar ends. It's really, I really like riding like this. It's really nice. It kind of just relaxes your shoulders. It takes all the pressure off your arms because you're not wanting to sit bolt upright when your hands are wider. You know, you want to kind of weight your arms a little bit when they're in tight, you know, to kind of hold you up. But uh, yeah, I love them. So that's it. Uh, I will eventually do a full walk around of the bike. Uh, I've done a lot of modifications to it and I still haven't got a chance to really get out there and uh, show you guys like the suspension stuff that I've done and all that stuff. So it's coming, you know, I just have a lot of like, uh, a lot of family stuff going on, a lot of uh, personal stuff going on, so no worries. Anyway, I will uh, catch you guys later and keep it rubber side down. Bye.